Hello, my dear friends. How are you doing? Hope you are having an amazing day and not having to deal with drama. Ready for new stories I have for you today? Let's go to the first one. And don't forget to listen to the end of the story, guys, to hear my insights. Enjoy the stories. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to leave a comment. My soon-to-be ex-husband and I had been married for five years, and we have a three-year-old daughter together. Six months ago, he left me for a co-worker. He had been having an affair for a while, and he decided he wanted to be with her. It devastated me, and I have had a hard time picking up the pieces to my life since. I have been relying on my family and friends for support and help with my daughter. Most everyone has been supportive, except for my mom. She's still in contact a lot with my ex. She helps him out when he has our daughter. She even met his girlfriend and is friendly to her. This has caused a lot of tension in our relationship. I finally confronted her about it, and she refused to cut contact with him. She said that he's her access to her grandchild, should something ever happen to me, and that he's like a son to her since she's known him for so long. She then went on to say that she's following my lead because of how I dealt with my dad's affair. He had an affair and left her for another woman. I mended my relationship with him, got to know her, attended their wedding, and we all get along well now. She asked why it was okay for me to do that, but not her. I ended up giving her an ultimatum and walked out. Now I am questioning everything. I don't know how to be around my mom when she's so buddy-buddy with my ex and his girlfriend. It is already hard enough that my daughter is with him and the woman who helped break up my marriage. I'm mad at my mom's comparison because I don't think it is the same. There is a difference between someone's dad and someone's son-in-law. I can't imagine not being on my daughter's side in this situation. I don't know if I'm being unreasonable wanting her to cut my ex and his girlfriend off or being angry at her. I'm dealing with a lot right now and I really wanted my mom on my side. How should I deal with this? I hate attributing evil intentions to people in situations where I don't have full info. But is it possible she just played a long game on you? It pissed her off and made her feel abandoned that you reconciled with your dad and had a relationship with his new girlfriend. So when she saw the opportunity to return the favor, she grabbed it with both hands. Regardless of the motivation, she's clearly taking some pleasure in returning the favor. Your mother is right about some things. She needs to maintain a relationship with your ex for the sake of your child. I know that it hurts you, but there's no way getting around the fact that you and your ex are connected for life. If your ex has your child and there is a problem, do you want him to feel comfortable enough to go to your mom for help? She is being wise to foster trust with him. Unfortunately, it is going to feel really sucky to you and probably like betrayal. Her dig at you about your dad and such was not really fair, but you have to realize that your mom is human too and still apparently carries hurt over what happened to her. It will hurt less with time, maybe a lot of time. But for now, maybe you can just ask your mom to give you as little information as possible about your ex, the girlfriend, and their interactions. You are also your mother's access to her granddaughter. Maybe remind her of that. Because unless you have some health issues not listed, her fear is ridiculous. Are there other family members you are both close to you can share your feelings with that you know would agree with you? Right now, she is holding some grudge against you, but I suspect if she felt judgment from multiple family members, and maybe those her own age, she would cave in. Don't forget the loves him like a son bit, because there is really zero justification for that. I had a very good relationship with my brother-in-law before all of this. My husband and I have been married for eight years. Shortly after our fifth wedding anniversary, we broke up. I initiated it because something traumatic happened, and it made me realize I wasn't my husband's first priority, or even second. I had zero contact with most of my in-laws after the first month of our separation, when they couldn't convince me to tell them why I had suddenly moved out. My husband is an extremely private man, and I chose to respect his wish to not tell his family anything. Eventually, they came to their own conclusions that I was the bad guy in the situation. I wasn't surprised since my husband is the perfect golden boy in the family, who couldn't possibly do any wrong. The last message I received from my brother-in-law was telling me I had never deserved my husband in the first place, which hurt a lot since I was already at a very low point. 
By the time I had come face to face with his family again, I had reached a point where I just wanted to be done with the divorce, and I didn't care if they thought I was the bad guy or not. So, I didn't try to correct any of their accusations, and there were a lot. A year after we separated, I went to visit my sister-in-law. We were friends before I married her brother, and she was the only one in the family who made it clear that they didn't blame me for the separation and that she wanted to maintain a relationship with me. I stayed with her for two weeks, and during the last week, my brother-in-law and his wife showed up unexpectedly. If looks could kill, I wouldn't be writing this right now. My brother-in-law tore into me. He called me every horrible name under the sun and told me he wished I had never met his family, accused me of planning this from the beginning, told me I was lucky I was a woman because I wouldn't like what he would do to me if I was a man, etc. Then he told me he would ruin my life the way I had ruined his brother's life and that he would make sure I regretted ever looking at his family. I believed he would have said more, but at this point, his sister threatened to call my husband and said something to him in a language I don't speak. Whatever she said must have got through to him because he left immediately. Obviously, I was upset and frightened by the whole thing. But since my brother-in-law never actually followed through with his threat and my sister-in-law assured me he wasn't serious, I put this interaction to the back of my mind. Here's the problem. My husband convinced me to give him a six-month trial period to see if we could reconcile, and then the lockdown happened. So we got stuck together for even longer than I expected. I will admit that I only agreed to the trial period because I desperately wanted one marital asset that held a lot of sentimental value for me, but he was refusing to give it up, even though it was the only thing I wanted, and it didn't mean nearly as much to him. I had pretty much given up on getting it until he offered to let me have it if I gave his trial idea a chance. I wasn't expecting him to put much effort in, and I definitely didn't expect us to reconcile. Now, my sister-in-law is getting married in about two months. My husband expects me to go with him. His sister expects me to attend too. His family knows we have reconciled, but I haven't seen any of them in person since. The idea of having to see them, especially my brother-in-law, makes me feel sick. I thought I was over what he said to me, but I'm only now accepting just how much he terrified me in the moment. I'm not sure if I should tell my husband. He's very close to his brother, and I don't want to ruin their relationship. There's also a chance his sister has already told him, and he just didn't think it was important enough to bring it up again. I also believe my brother-in-law only said what he said because he could see my husband falling apart, something I wasn't aware of at the time. I don't think he would actually hurt me, so in the grand scheme of things, it isn't a big deal. I also think I'll be fine once we get there and everyone gets used to seeing me again, but if I say anything, it could make things tense and ruin the wedding. What do I do? Is it worth telling him or should I continue pretending it never happened? Part of reconciling with your husband has to be that he does the work of fixing how he threw you under the bus with his family and let them demonize you to exonerate him. This thing with your brother-in-law specifically is just one, presumably the worst and most acute, manifestation of that. He let them blame you for something that it seems was his fault and speculate wildly for years about what a monster you must have been. That's real, lasting damage, and it's on him to start fixing, by owning up to his own mistakes. It is absolutely reasonable for you to require that he clear the air on that before you see any of his family in person again. Talk to him, figure out what you're comfortable telling people to set the record straight, and leave him to do that, and shut down any further scapegoating from his family, firmly and in the moment. I also believe my brother-in-law only said what he said because he could see my husband falling apart, something I wasn't aware of at the time. I don't think he would actually hurt me, so in the grand scheme of things, it isn't a big deal. This isn't really an excuse. The way he spoke to you isn't okay, full stop, and the fact that he was willing to do it at all speaks badly of him and the entire family. I would think very carefully about whether it's a good idea to just try to ease back into such a situation without ever really discussing or resolving it, which seems to be what you're going for here. Just pretending everything is fine so long as no one brings it up is a strategy very likely to backfire. I'm from the Midwest and moved to the West Coast for school and stayed. Because of work, grad school, I only get to see my family twice a year but I've always had an incredible relationship with them. This summer, my brother married a girl he'd been dating for a while. 
I met her a few times and we got along fine. She asked me to be a bridesmaid, which of course I accepted. She wanted to go to Chicago for her bachelorette party. I politely declined because I couldn't afford the trip. I was already paying for my dress and the trip to the actual wedding. Of course, this happened with every other bridesmaid get-together and bridal shower. I didn't know this at the moment, but she took it personally and told my brother that I was making it seem like I was just too important for this role. When the week of the wedding came, I flew home and I was really excited to see all of my family. My parents shifted their attention to me because I hadn't seen them since Christmas, eight plus months. For the first time in months, a family conversation had not been entirely about the wedding. I am used to being pampered whenever I'm home. My mom loves taking care of me with delicious food, and I enjoy being around my parents a lot. In hindsight, I'm sure this triggered a lot of her eventual resentment. She was really stressed with the wedding planning and made a couple of rude remarks about how the other bridesmaids had been helping her out so much. I hadn't gotten involved in the process because I lived 2,000 miles away. She made sure I knew how much fun her bachelorette party had been and how everyone had a great time without me. Cool, too bad I missed it, but I had no choice. On the day of the wedding, my mom and I got our hair and makeup done professionally. During the reception, my extended family was really happy to see me and they all asked how I had been doing. I really didn't think it was such a big deal. I knew half of the people at the wedding and they all asked me about my life. When we were taking the pictures, my mom requested one of just me and my brother, which bothered the bride. I was dancing and having a good time when a cousin, one who was really close friends with my brother, told me that the bride had said I just loved hogging the attention. I was obviously shocked, but didn't really let it bother me. It was after my brother came home from his honeymoon that I found out his new wife said I stole her thunder on her big day. My brother emailed me and said I should call and apologize to her. When I asked exactly what I had done wrong, he replied with a list of the most insane accusations in the world. She said that since the moment I got home, I wanted everyone's attention, and I would only talk about myself. She said I had gotten my hair and makeup done professionally just to look better than her. She said I was an attention W and could not stand being upstaged. All of the other bridesmaids agreed that I always had a bad attitude and was being selfish. She accused me of ruining her day and essentially not kowtowing to her like everyone else. I immediately called my mom, furious that my brother had actually believed this crap. She downplayed it and said that brides tend to be too sensitive when it comes to that, and she would get over it soon. I emailed my brother and just told him that none of what she said was true. I told him that I would call her if he talked to her first and let her know I didn't do anything on purpose. A few days went by, and then I got a horrible text message from her saying that I was trying to pit her against my brother. I waited a few hours to reply and I simply told her this had all been a misunderstanding and that we should talk calmly about it. I never heard back. My parents and I have been communicating normally since, with rarely any mention of the incident. When I do mention it, my mom is the first one to say everything's good now. However, my brother has been standoffish and downright rude since. We used to have a great relationship. I know it's because of his wife, but I cannot find a way to confront him about it, especially being so far away. I'm going home for Christmas, and I want all of this to go away. I hate family drama, and we are going to have to coexist for the rest of our lives. Edit. To people saying I shouldn't have been a bridesmaid if I couldn't attend every event or help plan the wedding. I did everything I was asked to do. I replied to every email, bought the dress and shoes that the bride picked, showed up on time to the rehearsal, and helped with the party favors at the reception. I apologized for missing the bachelorette party and the bridal shower, and I sent a gift. I honestly don't know what else I could have done. Clearly, she expected a lot more from me, but I don't read minds. If she wanted something, she should have asked. You're not going to win this one. He's on his wife's side, which is best for him. He lives with her. I don't think you did anything wrong, but I understand her feelings. However, making a big deal out of it messing with the family is uncalled for. So you're right, but that won't fix anything. She should have been adult enough to simply express her feelings to your brother and get some support and move on. Instead, she is holding this grudge. The only thing you can really do is go and be better than her. Go home to your family and treat everyone, including her, nicely and respectfully. Kill them with kindness.